Hello there and welcome. Today, we're taking a look at a AI development fix by the Reddit user TheFlame8 to use the online save game slash database editor to make the AI develop more normally, making them far more competitive. You can find the entire Reddit post at the top of the description with a guide to how you can do this yourself, but we are going to go through it in this video. The way this works is through a save game slash database editor, meaning we are modifying the save file itself and not the base game. As such, if you want to apply this fix to more than one save, you're going to have to do it to each of them manually. Now the question probably is, does this actually work? Does it make the AI better? Yeah, in short terms, the edit proposed by the Flame 8 is really good at making the AI develop more, and it also nerfs the player a bit due to the changes to how CFD and Wind works due to how the AI currently handles it. Basically, if you apply the changes to CFD and Wind, you are brought down to the AI's level, and you no longer will have huge jumps ahead of the AI, CFD and wind tunnel usage so it will be up to you if you want to use it or not but it does bring you down to AI's level. As such under Frontier comes up with the next update might be today might be tomorrow might be Monday I'd say this is a good temporary solution to make the game a bit more competitive. To make this work we first need to find our save file. This is usually uh, in local users then your username App data, local FL-24, saved, save games. If you are struggling to find this, you can probably find a guide in anywhere to get into the app data. Basically, just like you make your way to app data, local FL manager, you should have no problem finding your save files. Since this tool that we're using is actually a browser, there is no need to download any programs. We just upload our save to the tool and download the same once we're done. The tool in question is uh, save f1setup.it I recommend making a backup before you start editing to be on the safe side and once we have uploaded the save game you want to head to the modding tab find browse a table then go to sub team ownership table what we want to do here is edit the number of engineers available for our team or rather for every team as the AI currently uses five engineers for every project as such changing the numbers of engineers from 10 to 20 will ensure that the AI always has the capacity to run four projects simultaneously. After we've done this, we want to fix the issue with CFD slash wind. And there is no easy fix for this other than limiting ourselves to what the AI would use, five wind tunnel and one CFD. In regulations, non-technical part resources, that is the table, we can find the wind and CFD allocation, and this will need to be manually changed again if there is a regulation change, and again, each regulation change has their own table, so part resources two or three, depending on your change. So the idea here is that we want to lower the amount of CD time available to a similar level to what the AI would use. For Flame, these numbers can be found in his table, but you're free to experiment here. Next up, we are going to give a boost to CFD and wind buildings to compensate a little bit for the lower amount of time. Find the building's effects table and change the building according to the table. Basically, we want to find building ID 50 to 55, change the settings to the table, do the same for 60 to 65. This does solve some of the issues with AI development, and we can actually check both the save file editor and also the in-game to see what changes have done. I do have a comparison here, of course, and that is what we're going to be looking at now to see what actually has changed. Now to compare, we're going to go back to an older Sauber save, the one where we almost got Baras, uh, well, got Baras a little bit close to least second place. Now this is an unedited save that we're going to be using to compare with Flames. And in this one, as mentioned, we did get fairly close. We had a car that was very competitive in terms of the top speed, as well as its cornering ability. Now, there is one thing also that we're going to take a quick look at before we jump onto the other save and compare, but we also had basically... We basically got hit a little bit harder with CFD. We did get nerfed. I have that confirmed, and we can kind of just verify that real quick here. 166 versus 48. Let's jump to the other save and check the CFD number first on the front wing. By comparing the, again, CFD front wing versus the base front wing, we can see that we have 132 here versus 166, which means that we've actually lost quite a bit of performance. Again, also a little bit on the medium speed in comparison to a unedited save. So the editor save has already kind of done a job with uh, the CFD here, you can kind of see. So you are going to have less gains from CFD time, 
But also if we take a look here, go home and take a look at the performance, we have not scored nearly as many points as we did in the unedited save. McLaren even managed to topple Red Bull somehow, even with us stealing Piastri at one point. So, as you can imagine here, this is probably a little bit more of a somewhat balanced uh, playground. And also if we take a look at the current car, we are still quite high up there in terms of our performance. We aren't, you know, super competitive, particularly if you were to compare us against uh, some of the other teams. We haven't become first with 6th, 7th, 2nd, 7th, so... Yeah, and the other teams are developing and being far more competitive than they were in the scenario. Now we're gonna actually going to jump into the editor and take a look at the numbers a little bit more closely. Here we can take a look at the gains and losses of the team. So you can see that we have the CFD gains here. Again, this is the edited version. You can see that the AI has done some chassis work. They've done some front wing work, rear wing, side pods, underfloor suspension that it is fairly, you know, balanced. Basically, the AI is developing everything, and it's actually doing it at a pace that is higher than us in most cases. And again, this is due to mostly us nothing our CFD to a lower level and also doing a little bit of research. But you kind of get the idea here. The AI is able to develop non-stop, which makes them into more of a formidable, you know, challenge. We can also, if we really want to, go into all parts here and see exactly what they've done. So you can see already Mercedes has made eight uh, chances. We have five front wings for McLaren. We have seven Merck rear wings. We have ten side pods from Haas. We have seven underfloors. We have eight suspensions. So the AI is developing everything. The only negative part about this, though, is that the AI might be spending a little bit too much in developing. But honestly, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a concern. Research is still a little bit wonky. The AI is still bad at that. But at least now they are developing in a good way during the course of this season. Now, if we compare this to an unedited save, let's just see exactly what the AI did there compared to here. Here we have the unedited save. And if we take a look at the numbers here, we are the only ones that did any work on the chassis, the front wing, the rear wing, and also the side pods, which kind of matches up with how the AI is currently developing. They do they do a lot of work on the underfloor. They did do a lot of work on the suspension. Because the CFD uh, basically are huge CFD buff, and the fact that they barely use it, we still outdevelop most teams in both of these things, even though this is the only thing they focused on the course of the season. And if we take a look at all parts here, again, we're the only one that made chassis, we're the only one that made front wings, rear wings, side pods, you get the idea. And if we look at underfloor, Basically, every team, with the exception of, well, us, as Martin, RB, has made 11 suspensions because it's the only thing they're actually allowed to make. So we are basically the only, you know, exception that has made 11 underfloors, 11 suspensions. And again, this is because the AI isn't actually, you know, making anything else because of the engineer limitation. Putting the engineers up to 20 alone is going to solve some of the, you know, AI development issues. And if you feel like that is enough, that you just want them to develop everything, just doing that very simple fix, going into modding, finding the uh, table here. Yeah, oops again. Sub-team ownership. Again, buffing these numbers to 20 will be enough to solve most of the issues with development. It'll make sure the AI is always developing. Of course, they're not going to use wind tunnel efficiently. They're not going to be using, uh, you know, sliders, but it will make sure that they are running projects as many as they can over the course of the season. And this is a very, very simple fix. You just go to sub-team ownership, as I said, turn every, you know, sub-team type 0 to 20. This basically signifies engineers. This signifies scouts. So turn this to 20. And if you need to, you might need to go to the second page, find your own team. But as you can imagine, it's a very simple fix for getting the end problem solved. And I'm kind of surprised that Frontier didn't just do this temporarily. Just say that, oh, they're using they're using too many engineers. An easy fix for this is that every team has 20 engineers now, just temporarily until we can fix the bug. Because that, again, solves a lot of the issues. You can also, as I mentioned, go deeper in and do the CFD wind tunnel edit. You're going to basically nerf you the player a ton. Not really have much effect on the AI because they're basically been using this sort of wind tunnel the entire time. But it is going to make the AI more competitive. It's going to make the game harder and potentially make the game more fun. 
Once you're done, you just click this export save file button up on the top right corner. That way you'll download the save file. You put it back in the save folder or overwrite the current file there, and then you are sorted. So yeah, that was basically it for Hat the Save Game Browser here. A really brilliant fix, honestly, by the Flame 8. Great work. And honestly, we might spend a little bit of time on a stream or a video later on where we dive a little bit deeper into the Save Game Browser, but it, this thing is actually amazing. It has a lot of... Uh, it has a lot of things you can kind of check out. We can take a look at finances here, team balances, LP and Hass are running in the negatives already you know, before the end of the year. And uh, we can actually, you know, edit their balances if we need. And again, this kind of tells you just how bad the current, you know, game is. Again, this is the non-edited save. But you can see here that Red Bull has 80 million, Ferrari has 70 million. And that's mainly just because they don't have anything to spend it on. So that does have an effect. You can also, if you want to make, say, Haas, or in this case, Alpine, more competitive next year, go into your save game in December, give them a little bit of a you know, financial help package. You can actually edit the finances. So if you feel Haas is being stupid with drivers, go in here, edit the financials, and Haas might hire someone who's better than just 60 overall rated. So you do have some options here to help teams that are falling behind. But it's, uh, it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a hard thing to do. Also, do keep in, keep in mind here that the AI teams don't really care about the cost cap. So once you actually give them full, no limitations to, you know, four slots, 24 seven running as long as they have the finances, AI teams might break the cost cap by a good 50 million. So if you feel like they're developing too much, you can always go down to put them to victory and engineer, say, halfway through a season or something like that. Check where they are at the cost cap if you want them to play by those rules. But AI generally doesn't care. And that's also one of the problems that, you know, why they put themselves in such huge depths. But yeah, that was it for today. Just a quick video here on how you can make a game a little bit more competitive. We might do that for the stream tomorrow, today, depends on when I get this uploaded. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Please like, subscribe and go to Reddit and uh, give uh, the Flame Aid a huge thumbs up figuring this out. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.